Hi, I'm Gary Gibbons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add movement to a preset by using the monophonic or polyphonic LFO. First, let's start from a default instance of Patch Shop so you can learn how to drag and drop the LFO and set up a bus. For this example, I'm going to use short grains and add two grain streams by changing the number of grains to two. Then move the position value to 50% so I can access the middle of the sample here. Now I'm going to drag and drop LFO1 to the format parameter to hear movement while the format scans the spectrum. It sounds like this. Next, I'm going to change the retrigger to first and then turn the sync mode to tempo. I can see that the rate is currently set to quarter notes, so I'm going to change the rate to half notes, then go to column two and add LFO2 at source and bus one at destination. Next, I'm going to change the offset to 50% and the depth to 50. Now I need to go to the modifier in column one and add bus one to route the LFO one to LFO two. So now column one is pointing to LFO two. I'm gonna select the LFO two tab and speed up the rate to 30 Hertz. It sounds like this. Okay, now I can hear the half note pulse as well as the fast rate of the LFO2. If I want to change the rhythm of the pulse, I could turn the retrigger on and change the sync mode to tempo, then choose a different rate value. Okay, so I'm going to choose 16th notes. Now it sounds like this. Let's play around with some of the granular options at the column one destination. If I change the destination to grain duration, the movement goes from short grains to long grains. It sounds like this. If I add grain length and change the depth values, the length changes and creates movement. If I add grain speed, I can hear a grain distortion effect since we are currently using a short duration value. Now I'm going to switch to the spectral oscillator, load the sample called High Multi Sol 1. Then add the spectral format shift to destination and play around with the depth values. Another option, I can also add spectral purity, then change the values at the purity parameter. If I want to add a panning movement to the sound, all I need to do is add pan to the destination. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to the granular oscillator and add cutoff to destination, then change the cutoff value to 500 hertz. Okay, now I'm going to load the preset called attack pad, then add some movement by using all of the LFOs. First, I'm going to drag and drop LFO1 to the cutoff parameter. It sounds like this. 
Now I'm going to add LFO2 to the source, then bus1 at destination. I'm going to change the offset and depth values to 50. Then go back to the modifier and insert bus1. Now I'm going to go to the LFO2 tab and change the rate to quarter notes. Then change the waveform to triangle. Now I'm going to drag and drop LFO3 to the pan. It sounds like this. Next, I want to turn on the sync mode and change the rate to 16th notes. Okay, I'm going to add LFO4 in the next column, then bus2 at destination, then change the offset and depth values to 75. Then I'm going to add bus2 to the column 7 modifier. Now it sounds like this. Now I'm going to change the LFO for rate to 84 so the panning is triggered with a different rhythm. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Cheers.